Hello and welcome back to MTS. This video is going to be a part of a series, a series that's going to cover storage management. We are going to start off by taking a look at our server here. We are going to see that it only has one attached storage device. The storage device or virtual disk that hosts the operating system. And we are going to go through the process of adding another disk to this virtual machine and formatting that disk to the correct file system and making the extra disk usable on the server. So let's start off by listing our block devices. As we can see, we have an eight gigabyte drive here. This is the drive that was attached when the virtual machine was created. And we see that it is a logical volume manager drive and is partitioned into 500 megabytes go to the boot drive, at least 7.5 gigabytes left over. The root file system gets 6.7 to swap. The swap gets 816 megabytes and we have one gig of random access memory on this machine. To see what kind of file system this machine is is operating we're going to add the f argument and we are and we see that this is an ex ext4 file system this video is probably going to be the shortest video in the series and we are going to start off by just adding an extra disk to our machine before we do that let's take a look at our f disk and we see that the one drive that we have which is labeled as dev sda 8589 megabytes is eight gigabytes the star here shows that this is the boot drive which is a linux uh, which is a linux system dev sda2 which we looked at earlier is the lvm that partitioned the extra 7.5 gigabytes this volume group was created when the vm was built and partitioned so this was done all by default when building out the vm what we're going to do now is log in to our vmware which we're using to host these virtual machines and add an extra so-called hard disk to this machine. Let's so log into VMware and take a look at our virtual machines. And let's take a look at the hardware configuration. So right now it has one CPU, one gigabyte of memory, as mentioned, eight gigabyte hard disk that we saw and so on. So from here, what we want to do, we want to add another eight gigabyte hard disk. What we do is we go to our actions and we want to edit the settings of this VM and in editing the settings, we are going to click on add hard disk. We're going to add a new hard disk. We're going to make it eight gigabytes. And we are also going to thin provision this hard disk. Now that the hard disk is added, we are going to save that configuration. Then we are going to go back to our command line and take a look at what just happened. Notice that we did not shut down or restart the VM to add that hard disk. So let's clear the screen here. So if we list our block devices again with the F argument, we're going to see that now we have dev SDA and dev SDB that has, that has no formatting or anything done to it. So now if we run the F test command to take a look at our disk partitioner, we want to list out what we have. We're going to see that we have the first listening is dev SDA for 85, 89 megabytes. And now we have a dev SDB for the same amount, 89, 85, 89 megabytes for the second hard drive that we added. Actually, what we're going to do, we are going to make that second drive 10 gigabytes just so we can see different numbers there. So I'm going to go back to the hardware configuration and I'm going to, while we're here, we go back to the actions. We go to edit settings. We are going to delete the second hard disk. And after we delete it, we're going to save it. It's going to go away. We see it's reconfiguring the VM down here. It's been completed. We come back to edit the settings. So then we're going to add hard disk, a new hard disk again. And we're going to make this one 10 and make sure it's 10 provisioned. And then we're going to save it. And we're waiting. Oh, so now it, the configuration was completed successfully. So now we are going to go back to our terminal and clear my screen. Let's run the partition manipulator again. F this, list it out. We see that dev SDB is showing 10.7 gigabytes. So if we list our block devices, we see that now we have dev SDB added for a total of 10 gigabytes, but it's not partitioned at all. So that's the first step in the storage management process. We have our original hard disk or virtual hard disk in this case that is eight gigabytes that has been partitioned for the boot the root file system and the swap 
we do uh, this free, we see that this machine is new and we haven't done anything on it yet. So there's really nothing taking up any space. So we have dev SDB here. It's not partition. There's dev SDA, which is partition. So this, this is the first step in the storage management process, adding a hard drive to a virtual machine. And in the next video, we are going to go over partitioning the new hard drive to be used on the server. And we are going to partition it to also be a logical volume manager, LVM. Thanks for watching. Please consider subscribing to the channel and I'll see you in the next video.